Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about a new Ned Rig jig head that has been an absolute game changer for me. Fishing in rocky areas, rivers with fast currents, places where these Ned Rigs are always getting hung up. This bait has been getting less snags and catching me more bass. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. Why this Ned Rig head is so effective and why it should be in your arsenal of Ned Rig fishing equipment as well to catch more fish throughout those areas, just like I've been doing. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. So we're gonna start out today's video talking about this Ned Rig head. First thing we're gonna say is this Ned Rig head is not going to be something that's gonna do everything for you. It's a great Ned Rig head if you're fishing those rocky areas, if you're fishing rivers with current where you usually get hung up a ton in those rocky current breaks and other stuff that's down there on the bottom. If you're fishing brush piles, um, this is an, a super effective way to do it. But there's some places this Ned Rig won't work. Um, it's not gonna be a magic trick for everywhere and just to automatically catch you more bass. But if you're fishing in some of those areas, I've noticed that over my own hand poured Ned Rig heads that I got right here, I've started catching more bass and more, more importantly, I've lost way less Ned Rig heads. So I've been saving some money doing so and I even caught an absolute giant in today's video which we'll get to later today. So stay tuned for that. Now, this Ned Rig head right here is going to be the Sixth Sense Divine Ned Rig football head. When comparing it to my typical Ned Rig head here that I've been fishing forever, um, there's a couple things that it has different. The first thing is a regular Ned Rig head has a mushroom shaped head. That head is great if you're fishing around some small rocks and places where there's not a lot of snags. But when you're fishing these rivers that I usually fish, they have big boulders and crevices in those boulders. As you're dragging this bait, that Ned Rig head has a very thin tapered head. It's very small and compact. And then you have your line tie here. So your line's gonna get wedged in those rocks or the bait, the head itself will actually drop down in the crevices and it's gonna get hung up a lot more. Um, these are the Ned football heads. The head is twice as wide as the original Ned Rig head. And because of that, it's gonna get hung up less. That football head does exactly what like a football head jig would do and it will come through those rocks much better. It, I noticed uh, immensely, I lost way more, less jig heads with that right there. So the difference between that jig head and this jig head, I fished two weeks in a row and I lost two jig heads over the course of two weeks with this guy right here. I went through last year, I went through about 25 to 30 jig heads in my trips up to this river fishing those same rock piles. So I lost less jig heads right off the bat just because of the football head. Like I said, it's not gonna be a do-all bait though. This bait won't stand up as well as a mushroom head. Now you still have, I'm fishing the Elaztec plastic on here and we'll talk about that in a second. You're still gonna have that bait stand up. This bait does float. So when it's on the bottom, it's gonna stand up a little bit. It's just not as stable as those mushroom heads. So if you're maybe bed fishing, might not be the best way to do it. Um, it just depends. Like I said, this is gonna be a supplement to your Ned Rig collection, not the only Ned Rig head you ever use. Uh, but it does stand up a little bit with that Elaztec plastic. The second thing that has kept me from losing not only Ned Rigs, but fish, is going to be the wire weed guards that come on the front of this bait here. Um, we'll talk about that when we actually go fish this bait later in today's video, but this wire weed guard has helped me keep losing Ned Rigs because I've fished it through some trees and stuff that are down there on the bottom in these river systems as well, and that wire is pretty stiff, and it's Feels like you might not hook fish as good, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, that wire is pretty stiff and it will deflect off of tree branches, even rocks, everything like that, if you spread them enough apart. They're going to come in a solid uh, formation out of the package. I'll spread them out just a little bit. And by doing that, it's going to protect that hook, but still allow you to get a hook set. If you spread them too far apart, they'll actually depress too far and they'll actually let the hook get snagged. So you don't wanna spread them too far, just a gentle splay in your weed guards there. It'll keep you from losing jig heads as well. And there's two other features that are built into this Ned Rig to help you catch more fish and save more baits. The first one is going to be a one-aught hook. I use a two-aught in mine. It's a little bit smaller than my hook, um, but it's still, I've tested it. The number one thing I'll show you on an actual fish, the way these fish get hooked, they'll get pegged behind the jawbone and that's how you keep them on longer. Those Z-Man hooks and stuff like that, when you get those really short hooks, they don't get far enough back in the mouth of the fish and you'll lose some fish because of it because they don't get all the meat that you need to to actually land those fish. 
Um, so that sickle style one aught hook has enough gap and bend in it that you can hook these fish effectively and they'll stay on all the way back to the boat, especially because of the wire weed guard. So once you get them hooked, they can't come back off because of that wire weed guard as well. It makes it much harder for them to throw the hook once they're actually hooked up. The other thing these Ned Rigs have is a triple barbed keeper right here. A uh, little bit different than what I have on my actual Ned Rigs that I pour myself, but it has held up fantastic with these jig heads on here. I haven't been using super glue. Usually I use super glue on my other ones and keep them up on the, the hook shank. Haven't been using super glue. I've noticed I've caught like four or five fish and that Ned Rig will still stay up on the hook pretty well. Um, might be able to use this drop of super glue at that point, but other than that, like it stays on pretty good. Um, I'm sure if you just use this keeper and a drop of super glue when you put that Ned Rig on there first thing in the morning, you're gonna have that bait on there until you lose the jig head not the bait itself. So that's an excellent keeper. Um, I've been seeing it more and more on some jig heads. I was curious to see how it worked and I tested it without super glue and it held up just fine. Kept the bait up on the hook shank all day long. Um, maybe have to feed it up on there just a little bit to keep it on. But you basically have to wedge that thing on there to get it over that barbed keeper when using this Elaztec plastic. Once you get it up over there, you're good to go. So. That covers all the little features of this Ned Rig. It comes in a few different sizes. Uh, it comes in the eighth ounce, which I'd use for shallow water, maybe some bed fishing if I cut the weed guards off, stuff like that. It's, it's a size that I probably won't use as much when I'm, I'm targeting using this in like river systems, rocks, Lake Erie, places like that. I'm gonna be using the 3 16ths or the quarter ounce probably 95% of the time. That's gonna be the best size to use. And then it comes in a 7 16 as well. It's like almost a half ounce uh, Ned Rig head and it comes with a four aught hook. So I might try and play around with that one for some largemouth next year on some offshore stuff. Pretty interesting. Um, you might be able to use like the uh, big TRD or even the six cents Ned Fry would be an excellent one to put on there. It's a little bit bigger bait, but you'll have that four aught hook. Um, and that half ounce size, you can fish some places where you might fish like a drop shot or a football jig on offshore places and be able to catch largemouth. So that's not something I've seen in a Ned Rig head yet. It's something I'm very curious to play around with next year and there will be a video coming on that next year. So we'll give you my actual feedback once I actually test that one. But for now, smallmouth, we've been using the 3 16 and a quarter. So my Ned Rig setup is the exact same that I fished with the other one. This is a custom rod I built myself, seven foot medium action spinning rod, spinning reel, 15 pound braid, eight pound test fluorocarbon leader. Same thing I fish on all my spinning rods. So let's head out on the water. Let's fish this guy around. We'll show you how effective it is at not getting hung up and hopefully we'll catch a couple fish along the way with this guy. So now that we talked a little bit about what the benefits of this jig head are and how it works in the water, let's go ahead and fish this, see if we can catch a fish and show you how effective this hook is at landing fish and also show you how effective this head design is to keep from getting snagged. So we're on a spot right here. We've been catching a couple with the Ned Rig. We're gonna go ahead and make a long cast like I would with any other Ned Rig and let that sink down to the bottom on this rock pile. And then I'm just gonna slowly drag it through the rocks just like I would with my other Ned Rig jig heads that I've always poured myself except I won't lose this one. Um, I've been fishing the same Ned Rig jig head for two weeks now uh, and I have not lost it when I probably would have gone through about 20 of my own hand pours just because they wedge themselves in the rocks so much easier and you don't have that weed guard to protect it as well. So you got double protection on this jig head to keep it from getting snagged down there on the bottom and make sure that you keep it in front of the fish because a lot of these fish are hiding right behind a rock. So if you get snagged in the rock, you're not gonna catch the fish, but if you can pull it through effectively and not get hung up, you might get more bites on this jig head as well just because it's presenting more effectively in the water. Might be time to look for a new school of them. Never mind, I got a big one. I think it's giant. Dude, this can't be a bass. Have you seen it yet? No. That can't be a bass. It's not. There's no way. Let's loosen the drag up a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah. It ate a Ned Rig. <laughs>
it ate a Ned rig. I think it's a musky. It's a musky, yeah. That's Fish of 10,000 casts on eight pound pest. Is it a musky or is it a... I thought it was a musky. It is, it's a musky. Unreal. Well, that's kind of cool. Musky certified. <laughs> there she is right there. Not a bass, but even that tiny little hook kept this fish hooked all the way to the boat. Um, we're gonna try and get a bass on it next, but I cannot believe that that thing actually kept this guy hooked the whole way and uh, also that he ate that. So we're gonna go ahead and get her off back in the water. We're gonna get it trying to catch a bass here. There you can see right there, Ned rig barely skin hooked right in his mouth there. Super good hook on there. Kept him on the whole way, even with their hard bony mouths. So we had to retire that Ned rig. Uh, we tied a new one on here. That thing absolutely wrecked that Ned rig there. But you can see we have this really nice collar on this bait and I can just go ahead and push this Ned rig up on here. I used to have to super glue my Ned rigs on with the wire bait keeper on my hand pours um, because they wouldn't stay on very well. So this one, you just really jam it up on there. You still have to push it a little bit because of the Elastec plastic, but you can see I got it up on there and that thing's nice and straight. Got it perfectly on there. And then the last thing that I'll do is I'll take these wire weed guards and just kind of bend them out in a V shape. Um, not only does that help keep the fish on, which we'll show you here hopefully once we catch a smallmouth, but that also will protect it from getting snagged better than just having them stuck together like that. So I bend them out just a little bit so that they're nice and ready to go. Uh, so let's get back to fishing and see if we can catch another one. There we go. Knew there'd be one in there. Feels big. You want to grab that other camera? You want to grab that other camera? It is a big one. Yeah. So here is why this bait is so beneficial and why I like it so much. So this jig head right here, you can see has the jawbone of the fish. That's very hard. You're not going to get a hook through that. And then you have this soft spot that lies right in behind here. So that hook with that um, sickle bend will come through their jaw just far enough back to hook that jawbone where you're not going to lose that fish. And then you have the weed guard to keep it as it's jumping. It's not really going to throw that hook. So very few fish have been lost with this bait. I think I've lost one or two in the past two weeks doing this. And like I said, I've gone through one or two jig heads. They don't really get snagged up very much. They hook the fish really good. The hook looks small, but the way that bend is, it fits perfectly right behind their mouth there. And you'll pretty much land them every time. So nice small mouth there. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking about that Ned Rig. If you wanna see another video more in depth on how to actually fish a Ned Rig, go ahead and check that out right here. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more of my fishing videos coming up. Thanks for watching.